Hi, I'm John O'Dell. I'm the small game biologist with the Arizona Game and Fish Department. Today what I'm going to show you is how to clean your doves while you're out in the field, or just a couple different methods. Some basic equipment you'll need uh, is a set of uh, game shears or uh, um, even a, a pair of kitchen scissors um, that are heavy duty enough, but, but certainly game shears work as well, or, or sometimes they're called poultry shears. Um, some gloves and a couple of uh, Ziploc bags or something to hold the, the birds in themselves. So. Um, the first method by far is uh, um, one of the easiest and quickest methods to use. It's called breasting out your bird. And this is something that a lot of hunters you end up seeing uh, out in the field using. Um, and it's a pretty simple method, um, doesn't require a lot of equipment, but the thing you want to do is have the dove uh, on its back, having its breast exposed to you. Um, you want to just pinch in the middle, trying to grab some of the skin, and the skin is pretty easy to rip open um, once you've got a hold of it and what you're going to do is expose the breast just keep peeling it back opening it up um, once you've got the breast fully exposed you'll see that keel bone right through the center and you're just going to pull away any of the feathers and anything here and what you're going to do is, is find yourself the bottom of that keel bone right at the base of the breast and you're going to push your thumb into it uh, so you get your thumb up underneath that keel bone, under the breast bone. Get it a good ways up in there, because what you're going to do is you're going to grab that breast with your hand. You're going to grab the, the lower portion of the dove where the legs are at, and you're just going to start pulling it away. Now, you want to make sure you don't get the wings on the top side of your hand, because you're not trying to separate the wings. Uh, in order to stay legal, you have to keep one fully feathered wing attached. Uh, to uh, the bird or the meat um, as you're going home. So once you peel that away, you've got your full breast and, and two of the wings. You only need one of them. So I'm just peeling some of this out. Um, the reason why I wear gloves, obviously, is because it helps uh, keep your hands clean. And what you'll do is uh, determine which wing it is and the reason why I don't clip the wing off before I do the breasting is because sometimes whether or not there's a broken bone or not sometimes one of the wings will come off so I keep the both wings attached until I get to this point and you'll just choose one you'll kind of skin back as far as you can clip it off and you're done and we'll go ahead and rinse this off just a little bit later but that's just a quick, simple method for breasting out your doves. It provides you all the breast meat. Um, the vast majority of the meat in a dove is in its breast. But the next technique I'm going to actually show you uh, is plucking the bird. This is my preferred method. Um, people often look at me funny when I tell them I pluck doves um, because of uh, uh, it's not something that you normally see. but. Um, Doves are a whole lot easier to pluck than a duck or a quail or something like that. Um, doves, naturally, their feathers are much easier to come off. And the first time you do this, it may take you a little bit of time. Um, you'll get the hang of it over time. But um, what's really important is not to grab a lot of feathers. It's just a little bit of feathers at a time. And you just try to work in a pattern. And so I usually start right on the breast. And I just slowly peel a few feathers off at a time until I expose down to some skin where I can see it. And I just pull in the direction that the feathers are growing. Um, some people actually peel the opposite direction. But I simply like this method. And if you end up having any um, uh, holes in the skin due to, to the shot or whatnot, um, it allows you to work a little bit uh, more carefully around those holes so you don't rip it even further. And so we just work our way around little by little. Less is more here in this case, and then you can work faster. Um, I've gotten to the point where when I really want to get a, a dove plucked and finished, it only takes me about two minutes uh, per bird. And the reason why I do this skin is because skin is one of the great aspects of birds. I mean, you always remember Thanksgiving and the turkey. Um, and uh, I know in my house, a lot of us would fight over who got the skin um, just because it's such a wonderful taste. And it also gives you a little bit of the extra meat that's on the legs. And in this case, 
Um, I'm going to keep both wings attached, but I'm going to defeather one and keep the other one because, like I said, the in order to stay legal, you have to have one fully feathered wing. Um, and I just keep working my way around the body. The tail is really easy to get out, but you don't want to take all the feathers at one time. Just a few, work your way back. I'm going to work on the back side of the bird here. And it helps sometimes, instead of an actual fresh dove, is to let them sit in the cooler a little bit and get cold. Um, the colder the skin, sometimes it, it tends to tighten up and makes it easier to pluck. And so I don't go too far up the neck because we'll remove the head. Um, and I also don't gut the bird before I start plucking, mostly because I don't want all these feathers inside, um, just absolutely causing uh, a mess when it comes to trying cleaning the bird out. So if we do the removing the, the uh, internal organs and, and entrails last um, with no feathers, um, it stays a lot cleaner in the overall. So take a look at these legs. There's always some little feathers here. Um, and you want to look it over pretty good. Um, unlike ducks or anything, they don't have a down, uh, a set of down feathers underneath these, these larger uh, outer feathers. And that's what makes it a whole lot easier when it comes to plucking. Where it can get tricky is on the wings, just because those feathers stay in a little bit more than the others. And there's a spot I'll show you where the feathers always like to stick. But these primary flight feathers, the really big ones, these are, are stuck in a little harder than the rest. And just, you know, a couple at a time, not a whole lot. And just keep working your way in a simple pattern back and forth, trying to expose everything. There's some stuck feather. This is out near the end there. But some of these smaller feathers come off pretty easy up here on the top. Not too worried about ripping the skin out here on the wings. We'll go back to the inside here. Start working these off. Now on that leading edge of the wing right here, these little feathers sometimes can be a dickens to get off. But just a little work, a little pinching back and forth. Um, keep working them, they'll come off. And the beauty of this is you actually get uh, a whole bird with skin on that you can roast. Um, there's some different options, uh, cooking-wise, that you'll have available to you by having whole birds. And a lot of these feathers are just ones that are sticking, they're not still attached. Got the legs pretty good. And we want to keep that fully feathered wing. I'm just going to expose a little bit of this inside. And we're up the neck there. Now one of the things to watch out for, and this dove uh, obviously had been out eating before I shot it because I can feel his crop. Um, the crop is right here in the neck, um, kind of feels almost like a bean bag. Um, it's full of seeds and rocks, um, everything they use to eat every day. And so, um, just so we don't get that all over as well. That's the first thing we're going to take off. But what you can do is kind of push them up, try to push that crop up and away um, so you can get a good cut across the neck. And most of these feathers are gone now. But, so I'm going to try and get up in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut the neck bone first. Try not to get into that crop because I it is really full. This guy had a lot of food he'd eaten. And I want to save as much of this skin as I can. We spent the time plucking it, so it's always a good idea. What I'm after here, we're just going to 
cut our way around try not to break open I did a little bit already but try not to break open the, the crop too much there we go so we have a fully feathered wing over here probably just a few more feathers to pull off and we can take the feet off just above the joint where the that leg skin actually becomes the more edible skin and always a few feathers around there but so you can see it's coming out pretty close to looking like you know what you see with a, a chicken or a turkey um, as a whole roasted bird now I've got it on its back as well and this is where the, the scissors will come in a little bit handy right down here we're gonna make one small nip in it so we can reach inside and remove some of those internal organs and entrails I don't want to cut too deep but I'm gonna kind of open this up and of course the bigger fingers you have the more you got to open it up a bit and so I just try to slide my finger in there and start pulling out all the entrails here and I can always tell when I'm getting close because I'll hit that heart and that's pretty high up in that chest cavity um, you'll feel the the lungs they're kind of just soft and you may not be able to get them out when you first start working it um, which is okay because you can actually rinse them out with water a little bit later but just trying to make sure we get all the major pieces out and just got a couple more feathers there we'll get those off a little less to clean later and there's a few seeds you can see from the crop he had been eating some small grains and sometimes I'll even go in here through the top and just use my finger because the esophagus will sit in there and sometimes that'll help you get the lungs out I just try and push down in there get my finger in through the top and then go back in from the bottom Still not able to get it, so we'll just have to get that when we rinse it out. Other than that, two pretty simple ways to clean out your dove, uh, ready to take home, and then as soon as you get home, you can pluck this other wing, and on this one, you can clip the other wing off, and you've got meat ready to go.